What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick Python tutorial on how to convert .py files into standalone .exe files for Windows. Basically how this works is you download a program called PyInstaller. I already have it installed, but s since you're watching this, you don't have it installed, so you just put this command, which is in the description, download pip install and get their testing branch from their GitHub. You need to get the development branch. You can see develop.tar.gz. Because if you get the normal branch, it doesn't support Python 3.6, which is what I'm currently on. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So just let it download. Uh, so as you can see, all of the dependencies are already installed on my computer since I have PyInstaller already installed. But for your computer, it'll probably just download all dependencies and install them. So now, in order to actually convert your Python file into an executable, it's really easy. I made a sample Python file that uh, it gets the it returns the current block height of the Chancoin blockchain. So if I do Python, let's see, it's Python 3.6.1, Python program.py, it returns the current block height and sleeps for 10 seconds. So you can actually read the block height without the window closing on you. Uh, so in order to actually compile this, it's really easy. Py installer and program.py. However, as you can see over here, when I compiled this, it gave me this huge folder full of stuff that I don't want. What can I do? Because uh, obviously it runs, right? Current block height is that, and then it sleeps for 10 seconds. But it gave me this huge folder of dependencies. I don't want that. What do I do? For, especially for a small program like this. What you can do is, uh, is again, it's really easy. You just instead of uh, just running this this command, pine solid in your program, do dash in a uppercase F press enter this time it, it's gonna uh, compile it all into one f standalone executable instead of that entire folder with dependencies so it's way easier if you're like you have a small mm -hmm. program like this and you need to transport one file so here you go dist and now it's just one program .exe. again it does the same thing it returns the current block height but it's just one program instead of having that oh, huge folder with a bunch of stuff that you don't want so just to test if it works, do program.exe, and as you can see, it returns the current block height, then sleeps for 10 seconds. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple thing to do. Uh, normally, even if you have a multiple file uh, uh, program, you don't have to change any settings because Py installer automatically like checks for dependencies on your on your uh, program. As you can see, I, I'm using requests and time, and it, it didn't give me any errors because it automatically compiles those with your program inside of that exe. Uh, they have better documentation on the internet. Uh, I'm going to link that in the description if anyone is interested in advanced use of PyInstaller. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys.